What's up everybody, it's Josh again with Project Torture, Unreal Engine 4 tutorial materials number 6. This is actually a shout out, we'll go, uh, it's a request from one of our YouTube channel subscribers, Spotter2430, we're gonna do this one for you buddy, uh, you guys check them out if you feel like it, we're gonna teach you guys how to make some grass, yeah, yeah that's, that, that's, that's what we're gonna do, pay no mind to my very generic rocks, they're gargantuan, obviously, so let's get started, I've got a few, few maps over here, uh, this is my texture. You're thinking, calm down, dude. It's got a background. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you guys how to use that. Uh, it's actually because, you know, you got all the channels, red, blue, and green, it's showing. Well, I'm not showing you the alpha channel. That's right. That's right. Yeah? See what's going on there? No, you probably don't. But you will. Here's the normal. We've got it. The exact same map. Let's just go ahead and create a material. We've done this before. Name it grass. Because, you know, we we've, we've done this, okay? Uh, just go ahead and drag in your textures. At this point, it should seem extremely repetitive. Just plug them in. One here. One there. Like always. Uh, you know, the sphere's fine, but since we're trying to make grass, and we'll change it to a plane so we can see it. You see what's going on there? You know, it's not really the look we're going for. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's great. Thanks. I appreciate it. But we're going to have to do better than that. Well, if you remember, I got this alpha channel that was just black and white, kind of like, you know, outlining the grass. Over here, you can click, and it's set to opaque, and we used to trans or change it to translucent to make, like, water materials, where if you click masked, opacity mask over here opens up, and you're like, wow, but it's not really that exciting. But you can check check this, put that in there, and now, <laughs> oh, yeah, that is that is happening, and, and that is not happening. That is happening, and if we turn around, that is not happening. Simple fix. Just scroll down and click two-sided. There we go. Yes, ma'am, or sir. I'm not I'm not prejudiced. So we're going to keep going. We got all this set up. We've got it looking pretty decent. We have an idea of what we want. And now I'm going to go into my, the mesh, the actual object that I need to apply this to, because this is just a material. So I've got my material. Well, I've got a mesh right here. And this is what it looks like. And you're probably like, I don't, uh, I don't get it. It's just a few just blocky planes, and that's all they are. Well, I'm going to go in here and where its material is and click the down arrow and type in grass because that's what we named our material and bam it shows up and look what we got we got some grass and we I don't mind it it ain't doing too bad so I mean we need to just place this on the world first thing so let's do that now grass you're like oh my god dude we need like 400 bergillion pieces but you don't you know you, you do I'm just playing you do so you can sit here and copy and paste forever and ever and ever and ever and I will shake your hand once you're done I'm lying I'm not gonna shake your hand but the point is you can just not worry about doing that I'm gonna show you a little trick just in case anybody that doesn't know if you're here oh you got these tabs over here just click on foliage and if you scroll down you can drag a foliage mesh foliage is just multiple 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 images or in instances of a material or a, or, an, or a mesh we're gonna drag it in there bam now we have uh, our, uh, our thing over here you got this little brush we're gonna just paint all kinds of these. This is set to 100. I'm going to set it to 12. No, 8,000. And I mean, you click and just start painting all kinds of these. You're like, dude, what's going on here? It's it's awful. It's awful. Let the shaders compile and you'll see where we're going with this. So now we got some grass. It's a start. You know, there's, there's plenty of work that needs done, but this is your idea of getting it started. You know, paint it on here a little more, do whatever you want. You can paint for days. As you get closer to it, it'll appear a little bit. It looks great. But what we want to do is we want to add just a little bit of wind. We want to fake the wind. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let's scroll this back up. Jump back into our material. Type in wind. And you'll see a little simple grass wind pop up. And you're like, why? I'm going to tell you. Plug it into world position offset. And now it's like, I ain't going to do nothing because you done jacked everything up. Just hold the number one. Set that to 0.3. And I'm going to have you plug it into all three of these. Just for now. This is just for now. And I'm actually going to grab this other normal map I had and make the wind base off of that normal map. So I'm going to drag this other one in here. Just a wind. Almost kind of like a water normal map. I'm going to plug it in right there. We're going to save this. And we're going to jump out in our world. And we're going to see if we did it. And I'm not going to lie. We might not have. And... I think we did. It looks pretty good. You can make the wind stronger. Just play with your parameters. But as you can tell, and you know, right now I could do it. 
you can jump into this point three and you could separate it, make more than one of these, you know, and, and, and do different things. But, you know, setting this to one just by itself is obviously going to make the material much more rigid. It's going to be much more windy. It's going to be much more, you know, like in the wind kind of thing. And this normal map down here that I've got that kind of looked like waves, that's the that's the normal map that it's going over, as you can tell. You're like, it's too much. And I'm here to tell you, it might be too much, but man... I'm telling you what, you overload that grass enough and you can get that to look nice. I jump in here, go back to my foliage, crank this to like six, seventeen thousand. pretty much just attempt to blow my computer completely up and paint a bunch of it over here. And it's like, I can't handle it and it's freaking out. But then when you get down in here, yeah, that's beautiful. And that is how you make grass and add wind to it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope you learned something. I know I definitely didn't. And when this is all said and done, we'll have more and more and more tutorials coming with you or coming at you. We got the alpha demo coming. We've got another uh, uh, another demo coming as well. It's all based on the torture system. But thank you guys. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please like the Facebook page and whatever else you feel like doing. But enjoy yourself. Thanks.